Come join me in rhyme. Kind friends and companions, come join me in rhyme. And lift up your voices. And it started as an idea for a tour a long time ago, and uh, Paul used to be a promoter, so I asked Paul if he wanted to do the tour, and then we just forgot about it for years and years, and I don't know, I think it was a, a, a bit of a loose end, and, I, uh, and I, I went back to Paul, by which time Paul had started making films, and his uh, first short film, Powders, had came out. And it all just seemed to come together. We had, a, we had a drink, we talked about how we could do the tour and film it, and it could be your first uh, long-form documentary, and it, um, I mean, we didn't really know how the film was going to be then, or what it was going to be about, but um, certainly to have something that was uh, about Scottish culture. Farewell, ye dungeons dark. Well, it, it was absolutely amazing to, to have the premiere at the Barrowlands. The, I mean, obviously it's such a, a, a big place in Glasgow's history and Scotland's history. It's, it's certainly the best venue in Scotland, if not the UK, and possibly beyond. And um, it's the first venue I ever went to. I was a bit of a late bloomer, and I was 16 by the time I I went to my first gig, so um, it was great. I mean, it started with the gig, of course. We did the, the final gig of the tour at the Barrowlands, which, you know, I wasn't sure of at all. I was terrified about that. I didn't think anyone would come. I was, I, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't want to do that. No, you didn't. No, I didn't, I didn't. I was <laughs> dead against. I thought, no, this is just going to be embarrassing. There's going to be like 100 people there. But, I mean, as you see in the film, it went uh, much better than, than I expected, certainly. So. Um, you know, so that first of all was the first step to the Barrowlands, which was amazing, and then to come back there because it plays such a big part in the film. And you know, there's not a lot of footage of the Barrowlands that you see, or not about the history. I mean, obviously you see bands in the Barrowlands quite a lot. There's plenty of live gigs that you can that you can see there online or in videos, but no no one's really goes behind the scenes. So it's great to see the the office, for instance, in the Barlands, which clearly hasn't been decorated in about 40 years. And, and you know, it's, it's brilliant. It's such an important place. And to sit and watch the film and the scenes that we filmed in the Barlands, in the Barlands at the premiere was, was brilliant. I, am, I was very, very happy with that. I... Did you know you didn't have long? Were you scared we'd forget you? Or did you just want the song sung right? You've been on my mind a lot, Sheila. But before we met, I was just hoping for a good laugh. With Sheila, there was another factor with Sheila. Not only was she this really kind of formidable character, but she also allowed us the um, opportunity to explore a kind of corner of Scottish culture that's, that's not not really ever discussed, the kind of the traveller community, and it kind of gave us another layer to the film too. Yeah, I think that was a really important part of Sheila's history and an important part of the film, the, the, the kind of the traveller community, because they, the, the traveller communities throughout Scotland, they used the songs not as entertaining as in gigs or, or, or audiences, but to entertain one another, they were a kind of function of their family life. Say right and lay, say want and lay, say don't and lay.